champions and welcome back to It's Donnie Wani Time. Yes, Donnie Wani is here in all of her glory. Yes, honey, because today we are doing something special. I am going to be doing, applying the new L'Oreal Pure Clay Mask to my face today. So, I just figured it's mask day. I would just get on here. This would be my first time using this product. So, I figured I would just get on here and do it in front of you guys so that we can both see what's going on. Now, this is going to be a first impression. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it to my face on camera. And then I am going to... Uh, remove it from my face off camera and then come back and just let you know what my skin feels like so on and so forth um, but if you want to hear everything all about this little baby right here then just keep watching okay so first let's just read what they say this is supposed to do like I said it's the new pure clay mask it's made to exfoliate and refine pores. It says there's three pure clays plus red algae in this. Okay. Now the it says that um, it says that there's a powerful blend of three clays and red algae. It says that this is powered with three different clays in their pure form and enhanced with a nature sourced ingredient formulated in indulgent creamy textures that turn your mask into a multi-sensorial experience with every use. Now it claims that it glides on and rinses off easily so we're going to see if that's true that it does not dry out the skin we'll see if that's true and that this is made for all skin types now there are three different clays in this new line the first one is purify and mattify treatment mask the second one is a detox and brightening treatment mask and then there's this one okay so we're going to go ahead and apply this baby and get started. Okay, so this is the packaging. It comes in this nice little sturdy box. And then when you open it up, it's got the little covers on it to kind of keep the jar in place. And then here is the actual jar with the product. Okay. Now, this comes with 1.7 grams of product. And this ran me, I want to say it was like... 12 or 13 dollars okay so i it says to the directions say apply an even layer to clean dry skin avoiding eye and lip area leave on for 10 to 15 minutes then remove with water in circular motions to exfoliate for best results use three times a week so this is an exfoliator and it's supposed to refine your pores meaning it's supposed to shrink them some and my pore area is right in here so i've already cleansed my face i don't like to apply my mask with my fingers i like i just use a flathead foundation brush in this case i'm using the wet n wild flat foundation brush okay it's a clean brush so when you twist it off, it does have the little white tab here for protection. And it is sitting inside of the jar. So we're going to go ahead and get started.
boom for time. Okay, as you can see, I applied it all over my face. We're going to wait the 10 to 15 minutes. I'm not going to do that on camera, but I did want to come back um, for a few minutes and just let you know what, um, how it applied and you know, all of that type of thing. Um, as you saw, it applied very, very well. It was very smooth going on the skin. I will say that it has a huge fragrance scent. Um, and it's more like a perfumey scent. And it's very, very distinct and um, very loud. Um, as I'm wearing it, as it's drying down, it's starting to dis dissipate. Oh, excuse me, but applying it, oh, excuse me, I just ate, but applying it, that's all you smell. I don't smell any red clay. I don't smell anything but perfume. So if you're sensitive to scents, you may not want to try this product out. Um, uh, I put it more, I applied more to where my pore area is so that it can get in there when I scrub, you know, in circular motions to take it off. There's a little bit more where my pores are because I want them to see if it's really going to refine the pores and I also want them cleaned out a little more. Um, it's not very grainy. There is some graininess to it, but it's not chunky grainy and there's not a lot of grainy in it, which is a really good thing in my opinion, because you don't want your face exfoliators to have that chunky, chunky and a whole lot of that chunky grain in it because it can, it can do more damage to your skin than it is supposed to. Um, so I must say that it really, it's very lightweight, as you can see. Let me just take a little bit and put it on my finger here. Um, yeah, see, it's very lightweight and very thin. This is not a thick mass, okay? It's very lightweight and very thin, and it does have some grain to exfoliate, but it's very, very fine, okay? So that is my initial uh, take on the application. So far, so good. I mean, I don't feel it drying out my skin. I do have some masks, and I have tried masks in the past that once I apply them, they feel okay. But as they dry down, you can feel it like, like tightening, the skin tightening. You can feel it like it's uh, drying on your skin. I'm not feeling the drying process of it. Um, so for me, that could be a good thing. We're just going to see how it works out once I take this off of my face. Um, this is the first time that I've used this product and as it's drying down, I can see where I could have applied more in here. But we're just going to, you know, rock with it, roll with it. It says to use it three times a week, to use it at least three times a week. Um, and I would say that that's a pretty good amount of time that, you know, that you should exfoliate your skin. I normally do two to three times per week exfoliating my skin. You don't want to exfoliate every single day because then you're destroying. When you exfoliate, your skin, skin top layer is going to be rebuilding itself and so on and so forth. And so if you do it every single day, it never gets an opportunity to rebuild itself. So two to three times a week, I would say is very, very good. So we're going to sit here. Let this dry. I've got about 10 more minutes to go on the clock. And then I'm going to wash it off and come back and give you the rest of my first impression. Okay, champions, I just started to wash it off my face. And I wanted to come in real quick and let y'all see what it's looking like. Now, I will tell you that when it dried, I did feel the grains on the outside. But pretty much this is not a cleanser. This is not a soap. Okay, so I just wanted you to see what it's looking like once I applied the water. So I'm going to go and finish washing this off and I'll be right back. Okay, champion, so we're back. No more Oompa Loompa. So what I can say is that my face feels soft and clean and refreshed. And it doesn't feel drying at all. 
Now, let's go over what the claim said on the box. It said glides on and rinses off easily. I would attest to that. I would agree with that. You saw how it glided on my face. You saw how it was very easy to apply. Um, then it says it does not dry out the skin. My skin is not dry. It feels cleansed. It feels soft. And it, I won't say that it feels moisturized, but I will say that it's not dry at all. I mean, if I was to just like, if I was just happen to be so very tired and happen to lay down without putting anything else on my face, I don't think that my face would be dried out and because it, it just doesn't feel like it's drying at all. And then the final claim that it has, it says it's for all skin types. I would agree with that. I have normal skin, combination skin, but oily in my T-zone. Um, what I can say is in looking at my skin, champions, it does look like it is a wee bit brighter. It doesn't look as dull as it did prior to me putting it on my face. Y'all let me know because you saw my face before, but in looking at it, it looked like it's a little bit brighter. So in that case, that means that it took the top layer of dead skin off of my face. So, but my skin feels very good. Very good. I am going to go on and do the rest of my routine. I'm going to put a, a serum on my face and some vitamin C and then a nighttime uh, moisturizer that I use as a night mask because it's a thick moisturizer. But so far, so good. I mean, even in here, in the crevices of my nose, it's not dry at all. Um, I did feel, like I said earlier, when I came in to show you when I had first started to rinse it off my face and I said that when it dried, I felt the graininess on my face. I did feel it, but again, it's a very fine grain. Now, I do not, when I do mask, when I wash my face, anyway, I do not use hot water. I use tepid water or room temperature water um, because the hot water it'll it'll dry help to dry out your skin and it'll help to close the pores up but other than that as a first impression I'm gonna give it a try I'm pleased with the results thus far as a first impression we'll see how my skin feels in the morning uh, once I apply, you know, to do the rest of my skincare routine so y'all let me know down below if y'all have tried this product and let me know what your thoughts are on it. Um, I do have the mattifying one. Haven't tried it yet, so that'll be another upcoming video for you all. But I'll probably use them hand in hand because one is to exfoliate and, and shrink my pores and the other one is to mattify. Um, so I'm going to try that with a mattifying um, moisturizer that I have. And we're going to try to see if we can't get this T-zone um, down to not producing so much oil. So, that's all I have today for you guys. I'm so glad that you tuned in. Thank you so much for tuning in. To my new champions, welcome to It's Donnie Wani Time. To my ride or die, thank you so much for always tuning in and supporting my channel. And until the next video, champions, we are all in this together. And we are called humans. So let's just band together as humans. Not pay attention to anything else, but that we are humans. Okay? And let's just be kind to one another. Mwah! Smooches!